on the way on this edition of Titans All Access. Oilers, Oilers, Oilers. The much-anticipated moment is here. When the Titans take the field against the Falcons, they'll be donning their Oilers throwbacks. We'll hear from some of the original Oilers about how meaningful this moment is for them. Plus, we'll talk with the woman who made the uniforms happen. That's right, Titans owner Amy Adams Strunk is here for a special two-part interview. That and so much more as an all-new Titans All Access starts now. But there he is, the Yuli Bulldozer, Derek Henry. Got Chris Moore. Can he catch it? No! What a catch! Ryan Tannehill! Yeah! Big Jeff! Fires up another set of Adi Hooker. There's Hopkins making the catch. Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and another edition of Titans All Access. I'm Mike Keith, and man, am I excited. It's homecoming weekend for the Tennessee Titans. That means over 300 former Oiler and Titans players and coaches will be here for a weekend of fun-filled activities. And, of course, it's capped off by the Titans taking on the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday at noon Central time. And the Titans will break out their Oiler throwbacks for the first time. Everybody's fired up about it, including the Titans owner, Amy Adams Strunk. I had to get some time with her a few weeks ago to talk about everything she went through to make the Oilers throwbacks happen. We discuss it in part one of this week's Nissan Insider. We know the Oilers uniforms have been a massive hit with everybody. So look, Amy Adams Strunk is wearing her Nice. <laughs> that, so well done for this interview. Thank you. Thank you. I thought if I'm going to talk about the uniforms, I need to have You've one got on. It. Have you been surprised at all by the response? Um, I'd say yes and no. I mean, I go around town and I'm sure everybody sees me in this cap all the time and they're like, we have to talk about the uniforms. It's so it's really fun. And it's from restaurants to the grocery store, just just being about town and people are really pumped. Did you start working on this almost immediately after the NFL said you could wear a second helmet, thus allowing for the oiler helmet to be worn? It was all about the helmet because our Navy helmet would not have worked with this. It just wouldn't have been right. So as much as I wanted to start the process because it's a two year process with Nike once you get going. I had to wait for the NFL to change the rule where we could have two helmets. There were six different incarnations of the Oilers. You chose the final one, which was the 1981 through 1998. The Tennessee Oilers wore the same thing. What was it about that look, this look, that you thought would be the right ones to bring back this year? I went all the way back to the first years. And honestly, the Love You Blue, I loved that uniform. But the Love You Blue had the gray face mask. And I really liked the red face mask. And so really, that's kind of what drove that. Because the uniforms over the year, yes, way back, they were way different. Um, but as it evolved, this one kind of was a lot like the Love You Blue in, in previous. It was just an easy choice to go with the helmet I like. Yeah, the red face mask is so great because yes. they can wear the red shoes and yes. it looks it, it does. It, it looks unbelievable. It looks great. And the the once we kind of went with that era, the love you blue on the back, you know, that was just a nod to that era, to those guys. More with Titans owner Amy Adams Strunk coming up later in this edition of Titans All Access as our Nissan Insider will have a part two. But up next, listen up with Duncan as former Oilers players talk about why the Oilers throwbacks mean so much to them. That's next on Titans All Access. This is Stadium in 60. A quick update on the Titans' new stadium. One of the most exciting parts of the new stadium is that Titans fans will be offered triple the number of experiences that they can currently get in Nissan Stadium. Titans president and CEO Burke Nihill gets more specific. 
this, this new stadium is going to have 15, 16 different ways to engage with the game. And if, you're, if you want that experience where you're, you're in a suite or you're sitting in the lower bowl and you're just watching the game the whole time, that's there for you. And it's gonna be better than it's ever been before. But if, if you wanna have a more social experience, if you wanna bring your family and be able to kind of let the kids get their wiggles out a little bit, there's gonna be more opportunities for you to, to, to do that within this new stadium too. Uh, one, of the, one of the phrases we rallied around a little bit is, the light bulb wasn't invented by the continuous improvement of the candle. And so if the current Nissan Stadium is a, is a really good candle, we weren't just trying to make a better candle. We were trying to start over and make a light bulb. For the latest news, visit titansnewstadium.com. When the Oilers throwbacks were unveiled this summer, it was important to get the reaction of not only the Titans players, but also of the former Oilers themselves. And their reaction was emotional. Find out for yourself. Listen up with Duncan from a special moment from earlier this year. What did it mean to wear the Oilers uniform? Earl Campbell is strong. The legs of the future belong to Dan Pastorini. The number one spoke volumes. It was the first uniform that I wore in the National Football League, and you know, Bud Adams and the Oilers gave me my opportunity to come play in the NFL. The man once shunned by the NFL was now one of its biggest stars. And what a pass by Moon. I don't know as a jersey. <laughs> I played 10 years and never missed a game. People come up to me today in the supermarket where I live, and they'll, they'll thank me for all those years. And, I, in turn, thank them for being such great fans. There's been this, this resurgence to bring back the Oilers into the family, and, and Amy has been a big part of that. When they moved here, we weren't really Tennesseans, and then the Texans came in, and they weren't really the Oilers. So we were kind of caught in the middle, and there was really no loyalty whatsoever, but then Amy changed that. What she's been able to do, especially for players who never played for another organization but the Oilers, they really didn't have anywhere to go to say that, that that was their alumni team, that they could come back for an alumni weekend or have an identity with. So her doing that for the guys that I played with still means more to me because I spent 10 years of my career with this organization. It was a very special time and it's it's lasted a long time and it's going to last forever. I was born in Houston, but I'm a die Tennessee Titan. This weekend is so great to see the Oilers throwback uniforms, but also great to see all the Titans and Oilers who are here for homecoming. It means a lot to Titans owner Amy Adams Strunk, and we'll discuss that when Titans All Access continues. It's time for the decision of the week, presented by Hughes and Coleman. Signing free agent cornerback Sean Murphy Bunning has proven to be a wise decision for general manager Rand Carthon. Murphy Bunning has 29 tackles, two forced fumbles, an interception, and five passes defended so far in 2023, as he is becoming one of the leaders on the Titans' defense. That's the decision of the week, presented by Hughes and Coleman. The Bet MGM studio is where we are. This is Titans All Access. And part two of our visit with Titans owner Amy Adams Strunk. When I had a chance to sit down with her earlier this year, I wanted to talk with her about why it's so important that all the alumni feel like they're a part of this organization, including the Oilers alumni from years ago. Here's part two of our Nissan Insider with Amy Adams Strunk. So this is the 25th anniversary of the Tennessee Titans. Ironically, the Oilers uniforms come back out at the same time. Silver anniversary of the franchise. The people who love the Titans are excited about that, and yet they're embracing this part of the history as well. What does that mean to you? It means so much to me because, you know, as I've said before, I grew up with the Oilers. I was six years old when I went to my first game. and. I love these guys. I love all the, the teams through the years, the you know excitement they had. And when we came to, to Tennessee, it was, well, we needed to you know get our own history going. And I, I knew that was what was happening, but I really 
felt like a lot of these players got left by the wayside and I wanted to embrace them and bring them back into the family. That was very, very important to me. You have clearly done that and now the former Oilers are embracing the Titans legacy. What do you think turned them around? Well, I think, you know, the, the last couple of reunions, they saw the fans as they were, you know, walking around, the fans, the Titan fans were high-fiving them and really, all of a sudden, they saw, hey, we have a family here. They, they are loving the history. History is important. I mean, we had some legendary players on those Oiler teams. And, and I think our fans appreciate that. You know, Dr. Doom, Robert Brazil, sure. Dan Pastorini, Earl Campbell, all those guys. You know, we can embrace that as much as Eddie and Steve. And you know, Derrick Henry. I mean, they're all legendary. Yes, 63 year history of the franchise. The Oilers uniforms are back. It's the 25th anniversary of the Titans. So did you set out with all this in mind? Was this a master plan? Or has all of this burst just hit organically? I, you know what? It just, the timing worked out perfectly. Some, sometimes things just happen for a reason. And this is just great timing. Well, this is season 64 for the franchise. Season 68 will be in a new stadium. So as we go into all of that, we can count on an Oiler and a Titans and all of it presence, correct? Oh, absolutely. I, you know, the, the older guys have already told me they're going to be there every year. So, yes, absolutely. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Fun time. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Love being here. After the break, Coach Dave McGinnis joins me to go beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft, talking about this weekend's opponent, the Atlanta Falcons. More Titans All Access next. Hey, Titans fans, it's Matt Moore. Former Tennessee Titan Javon Curse here. This is Coach Mack. What's up, everybody? Former Titan Keith Bullock here. Former Tennessee Titan Kevin Dyson. Be sure to watch Taste of Tennessee. The place, the food, the folks. This is a taste of Tennessee. This is absolutely delicious. Exclusively on LG channels and LG OLED TVs. Before Mike Vrabel was head coach of the Titans, he played 14 years in the NFL. As a New England Patriot, where he spent the majority of his career, Vrabel won three Super Bowls. Over the weekend, he became the 34th player inducted into the organization's Hall of Fame. And our cameras were on hand to capture the special moment. Hey guys, it's Coach Brave. Just uh, landed in Boston. Uh, it's great to be back. Uh, heading, making a trip down to Foxborough. So uh, I'm sure we'll pass a lot of familiar sights and we look forward to seeing everybody soon. Thank you. Yeah, bring back memories of you know, coming back from the airport or uh, going to the mall with the kids. You know, that's probably what I think about now. Have you driven a Rodman Ford lately? That was my commercial. Have you driven a Rodman Ford lately? If you haven't, you should. It's <laughs> 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 a nice looking jersey, Carter. That's the point. Here we got uh, I'm I mean, cool, buddy. Love you, man. That's him. <laughs> What's up, How are you, buddy? See you. you too. Someone, hey, you must have been on. Know I know. I know. None of that was there. None of that was there. And yeah. Yeah. Hi, Matthew. Good to see you. You buddy. too, buddy. God, you look How good. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what this fraternity is and what this uh, means to, to all of us uh, is special. And, you know, I think we're all we're all appreciative of, of our teammates and, and what all these guys did uh, to help us win. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming 2023 Patriot Hall of Fame inductee, Mike Brabo. Ladies and gentlemen. Please join me in welcoming the 34th member of the Patriots Hall of Fame, Mike Brady. Never forget, 
You, know, you get a call and you tell, you know, I was in the last year of my deal. You know, when you're 33 years old and you're in the last year of your deal, you, you, you try to get some more security. And so it was like, hey, you know, would, would like to, to talk about a contract extension or, or maybe, you know, I, I could probably end up somewhere else. Be careful what you ask for because you end up somewhere else. That's how that goes. <laughs> I'm very appreciative of this. So thank you to the Patriot organization. Thank you to Mr. Kraft, the Kraft family. Uh, thank you, Bill. Thank you to my, my teammates. This is an unbelievable honor. Thank you. This was great. I think the, the hard part's over. And, uh, you know, this will be fun. This will be great to, to be able to enjoy with my family and uh, with uh, friends and, and teammates and everybody. appreciate what I did here and with the teammates that we had and the coaches and just the success that we had and I don't know if I've ever really reflected back on it I just kind of moved on and then I figured whenever the time was right and it just kind of seemed like the time's right. Titans All Access continues from the Bet MGM studio. Coach Dave McGinnis is here and when Coach Dave McGinnis grades the draft you take that very seriously. In the 2023 draft, one of his top three overall players now plays for the Falcons, and that is running back B. John Robinson. Why did you like him so much? Well, he's, a, he's an exceptional athlete. And of course, the running back position, we talk about how it's devalued now across the league, but he has such, such exceptional skills, running and catching the football. And then his, the, the way he's able to make people, people miss, get vertical, uh, he, he, was, he was an exceptional talent at Texas, and he's going to be an exceptional talent, already is, in the National Football League. Yeah, he's off to a great start. Let's go beneath the surface with Coach Mack, Let's powered go. by Microsoft. Let's We're going to go, go over, over and take a look at some Bijan Robinson. Go ahead. Here is Bijan Robinson right here. He's dot in the eye. We call it dot in the eye. He's back there behind the center now. They've got it. They've got a fullback. They're going to bring this man across in motion, and, and they're going to put him back there in a fullback position. Now, what's going to happen with this play? We talked about the, his instincts his instincts and also his quick twitch ability and B. John Robinson turns it into with his exceptional athletic ability turns it into a huge gain. You ready Mike? Roll it coach. Let's watch this. Here we go. It's completely defense. Stop. One man miss. Two man miss. And now he's out running angles. Look at him out run the angles. This is this. This is why this guy Arthur Smith took him for a reason. First of all we know Arthur wants to run the football but this guy can make things happen when they're not there. And that's what great players do. Everything's blocked, stick his foot in the ground, make somebody miss, make somebody miss, and now God-given speed, outrunning the angles down here. Special, special player. All right, now we're looking at, first of all, this is their throwback uniforms, correct, Mike? I love them. These, these are really sweet. Not uniforms. as good as the Oilers uniforms. Well, it's nothing like the Oilers uniform, no. but uh, again, we'll give, them their, we'll give them their due on the throwback with the Falcons. All right, now what we're looking at here, this is a two-by-two -two formation. When you look, circle your man again, Mike. Number seven. Number seven. He's he's in what you would call a, a chow alignment. A chow alignment. Cheated out wide, which means when we get to the end zone, you're going to be able to see how wide he's cheated out. This linebacker right here, Mike, is responsible for him. This is a man-to-man -man defense. This linebacker is responsible for Bijan Robinson. First of all, if I were coaching Ron Rivera's linebacker, which I'm not, I coach Ron Rivera, but I'm not coaching his linebackers, he needs to move over. He needs to move over to be able to cover this guy. Let's watch and see what happens here as they clear out the side and then he's up the sideline. Here they go, motion across. Now you've got a, you've got a tight split on the backside. See where I talk about that linebacker wasn't even close. He wasn't even near enough to him. This right here, go ahead and circle your man again, Mike. You do not want him with that much grass ahead of it. You don't want it. And it's all because the linebacker misaligned on that chow, cheated out wide alignment. Not surprised in the least that Arthur Smith would find creative ways to use it. Not surprised, not surprised at all. One more time, you can see, circle your man, Mike. 
This is a chow alignment. It's cheated out wide. See, he is now in the guard tackle gap. So this linebacker that's covering him needs to move a little bit more that way, knowing that they're going to come in with this guy right here. John U. Smith. To, that's John U. Smith. John U. Smith is, is lined up right there. So this guy is going to be a danger. And, the, and, and Arthur Smith, as you just said, will try to get him the ball in a myriad of ways just for these two reasons that we've shown you on the big screen today. Easy throw for Desmond Ritter, too. There he is. Coach Mack, well done. Mike Keith, you, you, you excellent drawing circles on number seven. Thank you. You're welcome. Good circle drawer. You're welcome. Got to be good at something, right? <laughs> I'm good at throwing to break, which I'll do right now. Titans All Access continues after this. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Time now for my Seat Geek Keys to Victory over the Falcons. Key number one is pretty obvious, bottle up Bijan. Bijan Robinson is a big, fast, talented back. They can hand it to him, they can pitch it to him, they can throw it to him. You've got to bottle him up and not allow him to make big plays. He has an Adrian Peterson-like quality to his game. That should tell you, you've got to bottle up Bijan. Key number two, run the dang ball. I haven't pulled that out in about two years, I think. But the fact of the matter is, that's part of the identity of the Tennessee Titans. Whether it's running the ball with Derrick Henry or running the ball with Tajay Spears or running some sort of reverse to someone else, doesn't make any difference. The bottom line is the Titans' DNA says they run the football. They need to run the dang ball against the Falcons. And finally, feed D-Hop. In London against the Ravens, one catch, 20 yards, does not get it done. Get number 10 going and hit him early and often in this game against the Atlanta Falcons. We'll remind you that Titans Radio is on the air with Titans Countdown at 11 a.m. Central Time this Sunday. And kickoff is set for 12.02 Central from Nissan Stadium. The Oilers throwbacks on display as the Titans play the Falcons this weekend. We can't wait to see it. For our entire crew here at Titans All Access, I'm Mike Keith, thanking you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.